Welcome to the new update video of the last two weeks. In the last two weeks we spent a lot of time for preparing the beds for the next year, as well some annually recurring tasks like stacking up the firewood or layering the compost that were accumulated during the year. During this gardening season we accumulated quite some compost on the market gardening area. As this area will get ploughed it had to go. As well we used the opportunity to continue layering our compost. The electric trike that we are using in this scene is something that we bought ourselves a couple of months ago and is quite a new asset that we use a lot. We also want to introduce you to one of our new members. Her name is Lolly. To have the proper dimensions right and a better understanding of where and how many beds we want to add in the coming year, we started laying them out with some tape measure and wooden stakes. This was especially important as our lovely neighbor Sigi already started on the next day with piling the marked out area. Later on I'll be harrowing the same area to make the clay crumble over the winter. This serves two purposes. The first purpose is due to the open ground we lose a lot of moisture which makes the clay crumble in the spring or during the winter time. This brings a lot of more air to the ground as well as the ploughing itself kills off a lot of weeds in the ground. This is a one-time thing. We will not disturb the layers of our beds in the future, nor do we want to use any heavy machinery that can compress the earth. Although it's still rather warm, it's undeniable that fall is coming. This picture was taken at the end of September, and the next picture is just a couple of weeks, exactly two weeks later. So our first gardening season has come to an end, 
but still some vegetable maintain, and we will eat and harvest them throughout the winter. As the cold time of the year starts again, it's time to stack up our firewood supplies. As we have the possibility to purchase this in the neighborhood, it's a short ride with our tractor. As we are so many people currently at hand, we decided to cut it already to the perfect size, so we don't have to do this in the cold and wet of winter. Twenty weeks ago we built our rank help for the beans. Now it's time to take it down. Although the weathery season was not really on our side, still we got a lot of beans out of that. One of the few things that we would change with this rack in the coming year is to have way less knots in the ropes that we're using. The disassembling of them is quite tedious. 